are six things I'm going to go over so you can become the best wall bouncer that you can possibly be. And those are the holding style for your controller, your best settings so you can be comfortable and you'll be able to lift this soil easily if it will take a lot of things away. Three, blind firing while you're bouncing. Um, learning to blind fire is very, very crucial because you want to be able to be very accurate while you're bouncing. Next is practicing how to practice. And that's just good because it takes a lot of repetition to get better. Um, after that, use it in a game because you want to know when to use it in a game. And just some extra tips is going to be my last uh, step. In this. So feel free to pause this at any point and just take your time watching this video over and over again. If you need any help, you know, just comment below and I'll try to make sure to respond to you as well. Thank you and peace out. Hope you enjoyed this video, boys. So this first step is about holding your controller. There are multiple ways to hold your controller. But the one I use is called Claw. Have, playing Claw is having your pointer finger on the A button, having your thumb where it's supposed to be on the right stick, then your thumb where it's supposed to be where on the left stick. Then you either spread your middle finger to your right trigger or you spread it to towards your RB and it, it looks like this. This helps you because you don't have to move your hands off the joysticks any, like at all. But if you're playing default, well, if you were playing default, you have to do like this back and forth. If you want to um, bounce while playing regular, this works as well, though. So, and then there's one more that people sometimes use, like reverse claw, and it's like they have their pointer finger on the joystick and then their thumb on the A button, and it looks like this. But if you guys want to use that, just use whatever's comfortable to you. Uh, I recommend playing claw once again and uh, just learning claw because it helps you out a lot and it improves your movement the most. So. Up next, you have one of the most crucial parts. It is your sensitivities, okay? Making sure you are playing on comfortable settings is so crucial because it'll be very, very hard to adjust to anything you're trying to do or to try anything new with something that you're not already used to or comfortable with, you know what I mean? So this is your starting point, this is your foundation, and it's your sensitivities. If you guys want to check out my sensitivity, make sure you go check out my video that reduces the input delay because that's the settings that I play on. And if you don't know what the input delay is, either don't worry about it, or if you want to learn about it, then uh, make sure you go check out that video. It is actually very helpful and will make your wall bouncing a lot better. And it will help you learn it quicker as well, because these binds are amazing. So, uh, yep, yeah, go check out that video real quick if you want to. Other than that, you can look at my settings here. I have 27, 27, 23, 10, 2, 2. The 27s are because I don't want to have too fast of a look, and but I want to be able to turn fast. Other than that, it's just straight just aiming at that point from, the, from your look sensitivity. Alright, um, and then I have my controller remapping on because I made Classic Alternate into basically default again. And yes, there is a reason to do that. Once again, check out that video if you want to know more about this. Alright, now the first step to bouncing is to find a cover and simply slide into it, okay? When you complete this slide, pull off of the cover, like walk backwards and slide into it again. So you can get used to that timing of sliding into the wall and pulling off of it. And you just get used to the feeling on your controller as well. Now, when you're done with that and you get used to that, then try to slide into that wall again. But instead of sliding into it completely, pull back on your left stick before you actually hit the wall. All right. You have completed your first wall bounce once you're able to do this. And keep doing it until you're comfortable. You don't have to do it too fast. But once again, don't let yourself hit the wall. Now, what you want to do from this point on is try to do more and more walls and try to string more. So let's try two walls, okay? First, you want to slide into two walls, all right? And then once you get this down, try to cancel these two walls. And you just keep on watching the video along with this, and I'll be doing it with you. After you get very, very comfortable with the two wall cancel, now try to move on to the three wall slide and then the three wall cancel right after that. So this is how it looks on my controller. I'm bouncing. So here you have single bounce. Two wall. And then better keep going. Alright. And here it looks with the default holding.
That's just back and forth. Now, this is the first move you guys should be using. It is the easiest move, but also extremely effective, and it is the single strafe bounce. The single strafe bounce is easy to pull off. All you're doing is bouncing to a side angle. All right, that's either on your left or right side. It could be in front of you as well, to be honest. And you're just pulling off and shooting, okay? The key to this move, or the, the effect that you're supposed to have with this move, is to make your opponent miss a single shot and just going in and finishing the kill off rip. This is probably the easiest move for starters, simply because it's simplicity and you don't want to be going too crazy and like be rolling around a lot as well. So this is the first move you should try to perfect if you're trying to learn how to wall bounce well, okay? It's, it's very, very simple and just stick to this at first. Next up, you have the side bounce. The side bounce is when it's just like the straight bounce, to be honest, but Sometimes what you want to do to throw your opponents off is actually commit to hitting the wall, then pulling off and shooting, okay? This really throws people players off because some players will predict you to be canceling a lot, especially if you've been doing it earlier in the game. And when you actually hit the wall, it has a weird looking animation and you're able to get the kill a lot easier. Yo, just make sure you guys are not spamming your A button because that will not make you a better bouncer at all. You'll actually start rolling around the map a lot and just start dying even more. Okay, so just make sure you're not spamming your A button. Wall bouncing is all about timing, and the better your timing, the better your bounce will be. Alright, next you have the side to side bounce. This is a personal favorite of mine, and it's the most flashy as well. And it's when you're just looking at multiple covers at once, and you're canceling perfectly, like, with your timing, okay? So you slide to one wall, cancel, slide to the other wall, cancel, alright? And that, during that whole time, you're turning your camera from wall to wall. Um, try to make sure you're, like, in a hallway and the walls are not too far apart. Or you just roll a lot, so try to take a mental note of that as well. Uh, Alright, so then you have two types of bouncing, the camera and the angle bounce. The first one I'm going to be showing you right here is the camera bounce. And it is simply looking towards the wall that you want to hit and sliding into it. And looking towards the other one and sliding into it. Alright, my um, tip for you guys for this is to start off like how you did with the first one. And hit every wall first, like angle yourself to it. Turn your camera to the wall you want to hit. That rhythm going. All right, I'll slow down a little bit for you guys. Get that rhythm going however you want, like left and right or whatever. Okay, and then try to do it without hitting the wall. And this also is called a glide bounce, okay? Because normally you would cancel like this. And your bounce will look, look like that, where like you're pulling back every single time. So you call it a pullback or a cancel bounce. But when you're just going from like angle to angle like that, it's called a camera, um, a camera bounce and a glide combined. Alright, this is how the camera looks when you speed it up a little bit. Kinda cool. Alright, so next up you have the angle bounce, alright? The angle bounce, instead of using your right stick to mainly uh, aim towards your bouncing, you're using your left stick. Alright? So, when you're angle bouncing, you use the minimal your right stick, okay? You don't want to use the left stick too much, so this is how it should look. You want to stay centered in the walls, and it's just all about knowing how you're, like where your character is. You can see how I'm like barely even moving the right stick as well when I'm doing this. I can't even do it without even using the right stick at all. Okay, so it's just angling this left stick towards the wall you want to hit, and then tapping A, and then not uh, not hitting the other walls. The best way to learn this is by simply like starting off like this, as usual, and then try to speed it up a little bit to with the point where you're not hitting the wall. And you should get to a point where you're able to just choose any hallway and just bounce down it cleanly. Okay, good. Alright, just a few extra tips to end this video. 
First, um, when you guys are wall bouncing, just know that you are not going to regenerate health while you are doing cancel slides, okay? So while you're bouncing, all right? And um, if you want to start regening, make sure you're either running or that you're sitting on cover because you'll regen faster. All right, that's just a quick tip. And it's very, very crucial just so, like, when you start getting shot at, you don't know, just spam bouncing. And they, they use this uh, this little new, like, feature just to stop a lot of spamming from happening. Uh, the second tip is that while you're bouncing, your shots always come out of the barrel when you're blind firing and bouncing. All right. And your barrel does move while you're bouncing, so you do have to catch a rhythm. So, like, it's sort of as you bounce right, your shot moves more towards the left and vice versa, okay? And you'll learn it as you bounce it and you start having uh, some good shot placement. So you got to really just take your time with learning that because it's kind of hard to explain, to be honest. And that was my best way I could explain it to you. All right, next, um, make sure you guys are strafing like while you're bouncing. It makes your bounces look a lot better, and it makes your movement extremely unpredictable. It's not like you're just left riding the whole time. So this is strafing. It's simply just moving your left stick left and right. And yes, this does make a huge difference in gunfights because it's just like it throws off people's aim. Like it, it makes people like move like that a little bit, and it throws off their aim. So strafe and bounce, strafe, bounce. You know, walk with somebody, strafe, bounce. You know, like just use a lot of different types of movements so you don't just become unpredictable. So the best way to play this game is by being unpredictable since this is a cover based shooter you don't want to slide into everybody's cover or you will just get punished for it all right second to last the best way to get better at wall bouncing is by practicing repetition is key okay so, and the best way for you guys to like practice is to simply play and um go to private matches and try to like play in free for all matches and you just play with around with your shoddy okay you'll get a lot better and you'll notice it faster as well as you go for these like good shots and just go for like nice bounces and everything so yep, and the last tip I have for you guys is that composure is going to be your best friend when you're bouncing, alright? Because you have to stay composed, alright? And that just basically means that, like, when you're getting shot at, just stay calm, collected, everything, because there's a lot going on, on the map at once. And if you try to just recklessly bounce, you will start missing a lot, and you'll just meet your death, like, way more than you, like, would if you were just more composed, alright? So try to stay as calm, cool, and collected as you can. While you're strafing, bouncing, and just playing the game in general, you just know yourself become a much more phenomenal player. Alright, so thank you guys for coming to my wall bounce tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. If you took something away from this video, make sure you are subbing to the channel, liking the channel, and leaving comments. And if I left anything out, or you guys want to know any extra tips, just make sure you comment below, or have any questions for me, comment below, and I'll make sure to answer them, or I'll pin some, uh, some very good tips and stuff. Also, if you guys want to string together some moves that make your bouncing even better and you, you become even more accurate, make sure you go check out my Nashers tutorial as I show a lot of basic combinations that you can throw into your wall bouncing and then make you like look insane, okay? So, I will see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace out, homies!